says Rod Rosenstein feels the heat of stepping down from the Justice Department. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is a perfect example of an official in the Trump DOJ who best represents how a top official can plummet from grace. One America's Marty Golgan has more on the rise and fall of Jeff Sessions. It's been more than two years since Jeff Sessions left the Senate to join Donald Trump's cabinet as attorney general. But the evolution of the nation's top law enforcement officer to where we are today is disparaging compared to the optimistic days of 2016. So let's go back even further to when Sessions was a force of Alabama justice and retrace where it all went downhill once he became a key player in the Trump administration. Jefferson Beauregard Sessions III was born in Selma, Alabama, December 24, 1946. Raised under God-fearing conservative values, Sessions would eventually follow a path toward criminal justice and public service, receiving his Juris Doctorate from the University of Alabama in 1973 and serving in the Army Reserve until 1986, where he would achieve the rank of Captain. By 1975, he became Assistant U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Alabama. Later, he would be appointed by President Ronald Reagan in 1981 as a U.S. attorney, but would lose out on an opportunity to be a federal district court judge in 1986 after claims of racist language ruined his chances and he was eventually voted down. In 1995, he would serve as Alabama Attorney General before being elected to the U.S. Senate one year later. I believe there are principles which are unchanging, and that there is a God in heaven who orders this universe that honesty and hard work and discipline by millions of Americans is the key to success. And if we undermine honesty, hard work, and discipline, then we'll undermine the strength of this nation. Sessions would serve in the upper chamber from 1997 until 2016, when his life would change forever as he would be the first sitting senator to endorse Donald Trump for the United States presidency. Sessions would fire up the crowd for some of candidate Trump's famous campaign rallies and would go on to be his campaign chief. Donald Trump would go on to win the election to become President Trump, and he would reward Senator Sessions' loyalty with a key position in the administration, the Attorney General. Now at this point, Sessions appears to have everything he's wanted. He's got a dream job as Attorney General, he's a part of the Republican administration, and he's lived a fulfilling life as a distinguished lawyer and politician in his home state of Alabama. But his life on cloud nine would be short-lived after making a crucial decision involving the Russia investigation. A couple months into the administration, reports began to surface that Sessions allegedly spoke to then-Russian ambassador to the U.S., Sergei Kislyak, on three separate occasions, and did not report those contacts to lawmakers during his confirmation hearing. He would ultimately buckle under the pressure of lawmakers and recuse himself from the Russia investigation due to perceived conflicts of interest. I have now decided to recuse myself from any existing or future investigations of any matter relating in any way to the campaigns for President of the United States. The move set off a chain reaction, eventually leading Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein to appoint a special counsel. That man would be former Bush 43 FBI Director Robert Mueller. Sessions continues to feel the wrath of a president who feels betrayed by his AG's failure to take control of the Russia investigation, as well as the Justice Department. It's a very, very sad day. Jeff Sessions recused himself, which he shouldn't have done, or he should have told me. Even my enemies say that Jeff Sessions should have told you that he was going to recuse himself and then you wouldn't have put him in. He took the job and then he said, I'm going to recuse myself. I said, what kind of a man is this? The president has regularly called out Sessions on Twitter, sending out scores of tweets blasting him for his perceived shortcomings in office. After falling out of favor with President Trump, Jeff Sessions continues his work at the Justice Department. It would be an unfitting end for a man who dedicated his entire life advocating for justice and the rule of law. But for an official in the Trump administration, you can either get on board with the Trump agenda or you can get out. Marty Golingan, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.